Hi everyone, it's Sarah Yee doing my 33 week pregnancy vlog. I'm doing it a couple of days late because I wanted to wait till my midwives appointment um, to make the video. So I had my midwives appointment this afternoon and that didn't really go the way that I wanted it to. My midwife was actually attending a birth so I couldn't see her today so I had to see another midwife at the hospital. And basically she just, the midwife that I seen today just wanted to know why I wasn't a part of the young mothers group. At my hospital if you are under 21 they have a young mothers group for the young pregnant girls to get together every two weeks and just talk and stuff like that. And I did attend one of the classes at the beginning of the pregnancy and I just felt like I didn't really fit in because most of the other girls were like 15, 16, I was the old, I was the eldest and they just spent most of the time talking about boy problems and stuff like that so I just thought, okay I don't really fit in with this group so I'm not going to come back again. So midwife wanted to know why I wasn't doing that and so I explained to her and then she wanted to know why I wasn't doing the birthing classes and I said, well basically I've got a lot of DVDs, I read a lot. Um, about birthing, I was there when my nephew was born, I don't really feel like I want to do the birthing classes. So um, she wasn't happy about that either and pretty much she just rubbed me up the wrong way. <laughs> um, so very disappointed with my midwives appointment today. So hopefully when I go back in two weeks I'll be able to see my midwife and be able to talk to her. Because I also asked her about the water birth. Um, because I wanted to talk to my midwife about the pros and the cons and whether she thinks it's a good idea. And the midwife that I've seen today, when I said to her, oh, well, what do you think about water births? Do you think that they're good? Um, and basically she just said, well, I see a lot of women come in here who want to have a water birth and then they don't end up doing it. They end up getting out of the water before they have to push and then afterwards they're crying and being like they're whinging because they didn't get what they wanted and so um, basically don't do that and I was just like well I do know that complications do arise um, you can change your mind at any second while you're in labour uh, and she just pretty much she really annoyed me pretty much um, so I didn't get any information about water birth that I wanted to. So I'm no better off than I was a couple of weeks ago. But um, hopefully next time I'll be able to speak to my midwife about it and she'll be able to reassure me that everything will be fine and that it's a great idea and that it's a good idea and and so yeah. Um, what else? Okay, she measured my fundal height and it was 33 centimetres which is a centimetre off for how far along I am but I'm told that happens all the time, it's always different so I'm not worried about that. Um, in the last two weeks I put on a kilo, I was 60, 65 kilos last time and today I was 66 and a half kilos so a kilo and a half I put on which is good um, listen to baby's heartbeat on the Doppler and that was good. Um, he's still head down, he's not engaged yet, but he's head down, ready to go. Um, very exciting. Only six weeks left to go now to my due date. Um, the weather's been really cold here, but today it's starting to warm up again. It's about 30 degrees and it's just very muggy. But um, the weather's been really good, it's been nice, it's been raining and that's my favourite type of weather. I love it when it rains. So, um, what else? In the last week I've had leg cramps for the first time in my whole pregnancy. I hadn't had leg cramps before um, and it was a nightmare, it hurt so much. I was laying down in bed and I put my, fle my feet flat and I just felt like my calf muscles like a jar up and it hurt so much and my feet were like stuck like that because I couldn't move them because my calf was just like so tight and sore so I had to like 
gently move my foot back into the non position and then the whole next day my mm-hmm. calf muscles were killing me it hurt when I was walking around so um, just a bit of advice to all you other pregnant women out there whatever you do when you're laying in bed do not flex your feet because it hurts leg cramps really really hurt um, been experiencing Braxton Hicks contractions still Last week I had an extremely painful Braxton Hicks contraction where I had to actually lay down in bed in the fetal position and I was sobbing because it hurt so much. My stomach just went like rock hard like a basketball and just stuck out so that was a bit scary. I thought oh no this is it I'm going to go into labour but then after that I didn't experience any more so that was okay. Um, what else? Nothing else really, just still finding it hard to sleep. Um, I have eight pillows on my bed, including a maternity pillow, and I still cannot manage to get comfortable because I just go from my left side to my right side all night long. And finally, once I do fall asleep, I have to wake up again because I need to go and pee. So sleeping is getting really, really hard. I've heard about the third trimester um, insomnia, and I was hoping that I wouldn't get it because I love my sleep, but it's hit me and I can't, I get probably about four hours sleep a night and the rest of the time I just spend tossing and turning, so hopefully I can sleep again soon. Um, I'll show you guys my belly. Um, Thirty-four weeks and two days. And he's still head down, his little head's there, back's around there, and he kicks a lot over here. Okay, well, I think that's it for week 34. Hope I haven't missed out on anything, but um, I'll see you guys next week for week 35, and if I forget anything from this week, I'll see you in next week. So, um, I hope everyone's doing well, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.